Yeah. She almost shot me one day. Yeah, that's true. That's about it. What? That's true. Yeah, she almost shot me one time. That's true. She might have almost stabbed me one time too. Wait, how did no, she almost shoot you? I don't know. Oh, you stabbed my tires. No, yeah, I stabbed my yeah. yeah, okay, tires. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's go one, 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 <laughs> one second at a time. How did she almost shoot you? Um, I was six months pregnant. Right. And, and his groupies and his microwavable popcorn bitches were attacking me. They were coming at me. Exactly and I, like on, um, at the back of the day, that was two-way. On two-way, you know, we, bo we both in radio, so it's not hard to reach out to find me. And they would find me and tell me, your man is eating my pussy right now, or he's with me right now, he's fucking me. And I'm pregnant, and I'm, you know, I shouldn't have to deal with this or go through this. So I took my guns out, I called them over to the house. <laughs> Right? And, and, and then and my I, boy, at this time my boy is like, don't come over, don't come over. I had them yeah. on the table waiting for him. Yeah. And I got over there. I felt like. He was like, leave right now. I was like, why? She was like, she got guns. I was like, all right, I'm out. How many guns was it? Two. It was a nine and a three eight. Okay. Yep. Loaded, I, up, loaded up? Yes. One of them was mine. I, yeah, one, one was his <laughs> that he left at the house. I felt like I was just in, it was just too much. It felt like too much. And so I was going to hurt him. Did you actually point the gun at him? They were sitting at the table. No, she didn't point point at No, yes, they were, because you sat across from me and they were sitting, pointing it at you. They were sitting at the table like this. And he sat at the table and we had a discussion about these microwave bitches and these ruby hoes that he needs to handle them or I'm going to handle you. How, how did you feel? A discussion. How, how, how did you feel <laughs> having, having two guns on the table pointed at you? Well, first of tell all, I wasn't there tell that the long. <laughs> I wasn't there that long. If you I, told me later what, how you felt, so tell the truth. How did I feel? I was probably, I, I know her. Like, if she, if we get to the point where she's like, you know what? Fuck you. She, she might shoot me. Absolutely. I was not outweighing anything. <laughs> Girl, what's the Bobby chick cut her husband's penis off? I'm not fucking around with her. Uh-uh. Okay. And the, uh, the, the stabbing incident. She, no, she just stabbed my tires. Yeah, she, she, just, tires. she put all my clothes in the car and then cut all the tires, right. like stabbed all the tires. Right. So I'm just like, I'm gonna leave now. So we're gonna go with these clothes. So I had to get all new tires. <laughs> this, this is a minute ago. Okay, so your, your pregnancy, was that planned or did it just happen? It was. In, in this crazy fool mind, it wasn't planned. But he came to me and he told me he wanted a kid. And we were, you, we talked, we had, we were in talks about marriage and. and having our wedding in Jamaica and all this stuff so I stopped taking birth control and I got pregnant. My advice to any of the fellas out there as long as you penetrate without protection that's planned that's pregnancy. That's right. Because <laughs> you plan on something might happen. That's what it is. But later I found out he it wasn't planned and that he actually didn't want to have it. I was caught up in the moment a few times that's what it was. He actually didn't want to have a kid. I did not know that. So. How, how did you feel when you were told that? It, it was, it was hurt, a little hurtful, but I mean, he told me just recently. So oh. I'm over it. Were you guys technically together during your no. pregnancy? No. No, during the pregnancy we were together. No, yeah. my third month is when yeah, we I found out she was cheating and yeah. I put him out. Okay, so you broke up with him yeah. after the first trimester. Right, right. Yeah. Um, how'd you feel about that? Um, I mean, I fucked up, so. You can, he kept it moving. I mean, he had a girlfriend like three moving. days later. I kept it moving, like she said. He kept it moving. Yeah. Like, literally, girlfriend, like, the next week. Not the next week. It wasn't right. the next week. Right. It was a minute after. Yeah, but so it was no, it wasn't. Definitely during her pregnancy. It was definitely during my pregnancy he had another girlfriend. During no, her pregnancy. no, no, no. It was during after your pregnancy. It was Lies. after. It was Lies. after your pregnancy. Right, whatever. Because I remember when Drew was a baby, I wasn't even talking to that chick yet. I beat her up when Drew was a baby. No, that's what I'm saying. So it wasn't during your pregnancy. We had just gotten together. Okay, whatever. Go ahead. You beat up who? One of his pop microwavable bitches. No, it was my girlfriend at the time. She was a microwavable bitch. She was here today going tomorrow. No, we were together for And she's a groovy years, bitch actually. too. She's a groovy bitch. And, and, okay, how long were you guys dating when she beat her up? How long was me like her date? What were you doing? You, you like three doing? days. Um, maybe a couple months. A couple months. Yeah. Uh, how, how did this uh, altercation happen? <sighs> Go ahead, cause I'm done. Uh, let's see. So she uh, she comes over. No, she's texting me, saying she wants to work it out, and I'm like, no. So she keeps texting like. <gasps> Go ahead. No, let me let me tell the whole ahead, story. I'm like, no, I don't want to work it out. So she's texting me and texting me and she's like, well, we should work it out. Like, I really want my family, blah, blah, blah. So it gets to a point where I'm like, okay, well, let's try to see what's up. So at this point, 
I'm cooking salmon. The salmon is in the oven. The vegetables are sauteing on the stove because my girlfriend at the Pop time was coming over. I was cooking her dinner. So she just comes to the house. Like she shows up with the baby and she pulls in the driveway. So I'm like, shit. So I'm texting the other girl. I'm like, yo, don't come over right now because whatever reason. So she still comes over. So she pulls up in the driveway. She's in the driveway. My son is in the car. He's three months old. Next thing you know, Pandemonium. Pandemonium. And then a couple of weeks later, police charges. And it's because of him. How, how, how bad is this going to beat up? No, but I didn't, I didn't like She her. came to court. She, she got beat up. And she came to court <laughs> with pictures of bruises and stuff that I think you took. You took the pictures of the bruises. I don't know why. And he I gave, didn't like her at that time. Like, I hated her, her guts. And he gave her all my information to press charges against me. Because I didn't like her at the time. And yeah. when I, so I pleaded guilty and I got my charges and then I had to do community service. And I asked him to watch the baby while I had to do community service. And he told me no. I don't remember that. I definitely Of course you don't. <laughs> okay. Um, Fast forward you, to you, today. You stayed, with, <laughs> you stayed with that girl after she got beat up? Yep. She got ass with and he stayed with her. And she, is she dumb enough to stay with him? And what happens later? Yeah, all right. Well, what happens later? What happens later? What happens later? We didn't. Nothing happened. Why? I mean, because... Whatever. Right. For whatever reason, that's... Moving on. Yeah, moving on. Luda Wayne had just put out a s interview or statement saying like he didn't like New York, I just don't and, like New York. and you know I mean it's his opinion to say. I you know ever since I met Stevie when he pissed me off, fucking bitch ass faggot ass nigga. But that's how we talk in Miami, and I'm trying to work on that because I actually my brother's gay, 